Hi everyone, welcome back to Scrummy. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really nice buttermilk fruit cake. This is such a simple recipe. It was made by my grand aunt, my mum made it and now I make it. It's a delicious cake and I really hope you're going to enjoy it too. So the first thing we're going to do is into a large bowl add in plain flour or all-purpose flour. Into this I'm going to add in bicarbonate soda, baking soda. Just give it a little mix. Now I'm going to add in the butter. I like to freeze and grate my butter. Makes it easier to rub it in and it's supposed to give a good rise as well. We get that all in there and we're just going to rub the butter in with our fingertips into the flour till we get like a breadcrumb consistency. Similar to when you make scones. And I'm happy with that, that's perfect. So into the bowl now I'm going to add in some mixed spice. Mixed peel, this is optional, I know some people don't like it. So if you don't like it, just leave it out. And I'm using some mixed fruit. You can use raisins and sultanas either. Get them all in there. Mix all that in. We best not forget the sugar. Get that in there as well. And that's fully combined now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two eggs. I'm going to beat them first before I add them. And get them in there. And mix them in. Now for the buttermilk. I'm just going to add half the buttermilk and then I'm just going to see what my consistency is like. It's better just to add a little and then add some more. So let's mix that in. We want like a drop consistency on this mixture. Okay, let's check that. Not quite there yet. So add a little bit more buttermilk. Just give it a good mix and that's starting to look good. If you don't have buttermilk, it's very easy to make. You can just make it with milk and lemon juice or vinegar. And I've got a video on my channel there if you want to check that out. I know some countries it's very hard to get buttermilk. And that looks great. So let's just check that. And that's the kind of consistency we want. A nice drop consistency like that. Okay, so I'm just going to get my tin and this is a two pound loaf tin. And get all that mixture in there. Now this tin, I have greased it and I've popped a little bit of greaseproof paper into it. I find the greaseproof paper really handy for getting the cake out when it's baked. I just get a spoon and level the top of the cake. And that's it, all ready for the oven. It's going to take about 45 to 50 minutes and all the temperatures will follow in the next slide. Let's get it into the oven. My buttermilk fruit cake is fully baked. It smells amazing, I have to say. It's a beautiful golden color and there's a lovely rise on it too. I did let it cool for a couple of hours um, because it's much easier to cut. The smell in my kitchen today from baking this little cake was just something else. Now all that's left to be done is for me to cut into this so we can see what the inside of this cake is like. So let's do that now. It's really easy to cut into because I've left it that little bit longer to cool. It smells amazing, beautiful color on the inside. And just look at all that fruit. Gorgeous. And there you have it. That's my buttermilk fruit cake. Very easy to make and it's absolutely delicious. Smells fantastic. It won't last long in your house, believe me. It definitely won't. I know this isn't going to last long here. So give it a go and let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. If there's any other recipes you'd like me to make, leave me a comment down below as well. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and follow my page if you haven't already. And if you could share my videos, that'd be fantastic too. You know what to say, sharing is caring. Thanks again. Happy baking everyone and see you all soon. Enjoy.